Today we're just going to do a quick little get ready with me using the new Tom Ford Cherry Smoke Quad and you guys have been wanting to see the new Makeup Forever powder foundation. Like you wanted to see me use it as just a powder foundation and not like a setting powder or anything so we're going to play with that today and hopefully have some chill makeup fun. So let's go ahead and get into it, do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, notification bell, share it, all of that jazz and let's zoom in and put some makeup on. It is early. It is early. I have literally like 30 minutes to film this. It's not an ideal time to be filming it. I really want to film and naturally my ADHD brain has just gone, this is a good idea. So we're doing it. So it's going to be hopefully quick and snappy and just like a good time. I have primed with my Rare Beauty Eye Primer already. And we're going to play with this little uh, Tom Ford Cherry Smoke Quad. I wanted this for so long, like I've been hunt, trying to hunt this down. It finally got released here in Australia on David Jones and Maya. I'll link it down below where I find it um, globally. And then I got it. And honestly, I should have just returned it as soon as I opened it because I was just like, these are going to be some dodgy swatches that I'm doing on the back of my hand here. Let me fix them. But yeah, I should have just returned it. Honestly, I haven't, I can't speak to the quality of this. I haven't actually used it yet, but it's not. I don't know. It just doesn't have any dimension to it, I guess. These are some pretty poor swatches, but you know, you get the gist. They all look like pretty much the same color. So I guess if you wanted to pick this up and use it in conjunction with other palettes, like I could see this working really well with Forbidden Pink and Rose Topaz and stuff. But this is my first Tom Ford quad that I've picked up and purchased and been like, oh. So, you know, I just, I really have a thing for cherries and the cherry smoke name and just all of this jazz. And I was like, I haven't tried the Tom Ford, like pure matte formula outside of Metal Lust. Long story short, I was like, this seems like a good idea. And then I got it and I was like, it probably wasn't a good idea. And here we are. And I've swatched it and everything. So I can't take it back because we can't return makeup in Australia. I'm going to take my Rafa 33 and dip into this shade first. It's going to be a quick, easy, work friendly look. I'm about to head into a meeting. I'm just gonna tap, I mean, that's pigmented, wow. I'm not, I again, I'm not speaking to the quality of this quad yet because I actually haven't tried it. I was just speaking about the color story, just didn't have enough dimension for me, but I mean, that matte is actually performing really well. So, you know, we'll see how we go. So I'm just gonna blend this matte out all over the lid as like a one and done first to begin with, with my River 33. So that actually looks really nice, like actually looks really, really nice. I look crazy obviously on camera and when I look up like this, it looks like it's higher up, but when I look straight with my hooded eyes, it'll, it kind of gets masked. So it's a lot more wearable, but that actually does look nice. It performed really well and easy. It really did. Is it the best matte formula I've ever tried? No, <laughs> um, it's not, but it's also quite good. Like it's actually a very good matte formula. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take my intensifier stick on one eye and I will do no intensifier stick on this eye and you guys I say this all the time especially with Tom Ford I am not going to tell you whether or not I'll tell you if I like it but I won't tell you ever to buy this because I understand that it is ludicrous to spend this much money on four eyeshadows Tom Ford is a very any luxury brand is I personally think in my opinion a very personal decision and I'm never gonna tell you to be like, oh, you need this. I just think you, you know, if you love luxury makeup and stuff, I'm just gonna tell you if I personally like it and think it's worth, well, if I just like it. I don't know if it's worth the money. Is any makeup worth the money? Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna take this Delium Tool 773 and we'll dip into this little shimmer shade. I'm just gonna tap that here. I just think the one thing this quad is missing is just a diversity in color. That's all. I think this little metallic either needed to be a little bit lighter or the mattes needed to like that first initial transition shade needed to be a little bit lighter or something it just needs a little bit diversity it just feels like all of these shades are pretty much going to come out on the eye in the exact same color and that's that's actually what it's feeling like i mean that metallic is pretty it doesn't have any specialness 
to it. And the Tolvin Ford formula is not necessarily like, it's definitely not like a Pat McGrath Labs formula or anything like that. So it doesn't perform well with a dry brush with no intensifiers. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and press it. That performs a lot better. So if you're not gonna use a glitter glue or anything, use your finger and then it goes on lovely. Um, the Shadow Metallic is not a Pat formula. It's nothing special, I'll be honest, this one. Um, their, their shadows are designed to be more subtle. They're not designed to be a wham bam thank you ma'am, except for maybe like Lava Luster and Metal Lust. But I prefer so far, I can already tell you, I prefer the wet dry formula for a metallic or the cream formula. Those two are my favorite formulas from Tom Ford. This so far, even though the matte is performing really lovely, it it's this formulas that I'm trying so far is not something that I'm gonna I probably wouldn't repurchase unless it was a color story that I was like, oh yeah, I really want that color story. I'll just dip into a little bit of this one. This is actually a satin type shade. I'm just gonna use that to deepen up this outer corner just a touch. I mean, I do think it is a testament though how easy these shadows perform to create a quick look because I am super duper rushing, if you can't tell. <laughs> so, you know, if you want an easy formula that you can just like quickly put on in a rush and you love the color story, then you'll probably like it. That's not hideous. That's actually quite pretty. It's just, there's no, there's not enough dimension there for me. It's not special enough for me. Before we move on to base, I'm just gonna take a quick little bit of my Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara just on my top lashes. And I just put the Victoria Beckham Fig Eyeliner on my top waterline. Let's get into base. So I'm going to do my concealer and everything first because we are gonna just use powder foundation. Uh, first up, I'm gonna take this NARS pore stick just in my T-zone area, just to smooth this out a touch. I'm gonna take the Clinique Peach Color Corrector for my under eyes and I'm going to actually just mix in a touch of the LA Girl White Pro Conceal just to lighten it up just ever so slightly. I kind of forgot that I could do this with my color correctors. I feel like this is a really good display of like how I can get ready in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Obviously you guys have seen the edited down version, but still. Concealer, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. Is it a smart idea trying the powder foundation for the first time when I literally am in a rush? Probably not, but here we are. The decisions that I make. BK109, I'm gonna blend that out. I really like this Urban Decay Quickie Concealer, by the way, you guys. It is so lovely, truly. I'm really impressed with it. I'm just gonna dot a little bit of my green color corrector because my redness is kind of, it might not be showing on camera, but it's peeking through quite a bit today. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush to blend it out. I ordered the new Tarte color corrector, the peach one, which I think after watching Simply Blair's review of it, it's gonna be too dark, but that's okay. I'll just mix it with a white that what LA go what one um I said that so weird but anyway but yeah and then I did I pick up a green color corrector I do want to pick up a new green color corrector why do I feel like I did though no I haven't but I might but anyway I picked up the new Tarte one to try and also the old Tarte CC color corrector that's been on my list for a while but it's been out of stock so we'll see how they go when they come in just taking the NARS cliff soft matte advanced perfecting powder for my under eye cliff is the shade it is very pale, so it's like really, I can only use this on my under eyes. So if you use me as a shade match and you want like an all over face powder, just keep that in mind. But I will say this is delightful, like truly delightful in the under eyes and the T-zone. I don't know why it's not released anywhere outside of the US yet. It's bizarre to me. Now we're gonna go into the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. It says 24 hour, undetectable. I've got the shade 1N06, which is the same shade that I'm in the foundation, and I find this to be a good one. You guys kept telling me to use this sponge. I am nervous. Oh, okay. 
see how we go. I haven't, do you know, fun fact, I used to only use powder foundations up until the age of 24 or 26 even, I think maybe 25 when I came off the pill and my skin went, I was one of those really lucky kids, like teenagers and early twenties where I never ever literally got a pimple ever. And then hit, took myself off the pill. Even before I went on the pill, I never got a pimple. I took myself on the pill, off the pill, got like acne. Not too bad, but it was definitely, you know, noticeable and all that kind of stuff. And ever since then, I've just had issues with breakouts. So that's been fun. But I used to only ever wear the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation, literally, for like my entire life. Not even kidding. Okay, I can see defeat, you guys. This actually looks really nice as a powder foundation. Holy dooly. And this sponge is actually working really well, so. You guys all told me and I was like, shut up. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't that rude, but you know, I didn't want to believe you, but this actually looks really, really nice. You guys always steer me in the right direction. Look at my root spray on my ear. Shall we just, <laughs> we are professionals. This has such a lovely coverage level to it and it looks so light. This looks way nicer as a powder foundation than a setting powder. I mean, that's, I, I would expect that given that a powder foundation is not a setting powder, let's be real. Okay, I can see Defeat, that looks really lovely. Really lovely. Holy dooly, I do look, I, okay. This is actually undetectable blurring powder foundation on its own without any liquids underneath that. Uh, that's actually, okay. Touche, you guys, touche. Let's just quickly finish the lower lash line while we're here. I'm just gonna take that mat that we put through the, the lid and I'll just, I literally have like an important meeting this morning and I'm going in with bright red eyeshadow, but here we are. In a corner, we're gonna use this highlight today as well. Um, I picked up the NARS powder highlight in Capri. That was the last product I needed to pick up so that I could do my full face of NARS. Um, so I'm just putting this in the inner corner. Taking my um, Victoria Beckham brightening pencil on my lower waterline and then we, I'll put some lower lash mascara on and then we're gonna do the rest of the face. I also just quickly did my brows off camera as well. Now I'm gonna bronze up because I look like a ghost. I'm gonna use the Gucci bronzer today. I don't know if you guys watched my like at the start of the year makeup I wanna use up slash really familiarize myself with. And this Gucci bronzer, I'm just taking it on the A507 from BK, was one of those products because I had it for quite some time and you guys really recommended this product to me and I felt like I hadn't really gotten to know the product well. I just changed my brush, sorry, to the BK Triple One because I actually washed that brush yesterday and wasn't fully dry. <laughs> I felt like I hadn't really gotten to know this product well enough to be like, yeah, I really recommend this because it was expensive. I'm pretty sure it was like a hundred US dollars. So you know, that to me is like, you need to be pretty darn good. Like the Victoria Beckham bronzer is a hundred US dollars, uh, not a hundred US dollars. This was a hundred Australian dollars, apologies. And then the Victoria Beckham one was like 95. Whereas I really like the Victoria Beckham one, but this one, I don't know why. It just doesn't stick in my mind. Like when I go to think or think to use my bronzers, it just doesn't stick around. And I feel like I'm definitely in a minority here. I know so many of you guys and so many people on YouTube just love this bronzer. And I don't know why. It just doesn't stick that way to me, so. I mean, it, granted, it is lovely, don't get me wrong. Like, I definitely, when I use it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is actually really nice. It just doesn't stick in my mind. I'm just not quite sure why. We're gonna highlight with the NARS Capri highlighter. When I swatched this in store, it was it was so lovely. I wanted to pick up a pink one because I don't really have a lot of pink one uh, highlighters in my collection, so. That's beautiful, it's very natural and non-texturizing, wow. Gosh, I feel like NARS, since I've been testing a heap of their products for my full face of NARS, I honestly have been noticing that I just don't think they get the, the hype that they deserve because they obviously, they do bring out new collections that seem to be always limited edition, but it's like their core staples are phenomenal. But because their core staples aren't new releases, like they just don't seem to get the love that they should get in my mind. I don't know, maybe that's just me thinking that, but. I mean, that's beautiful. For blush, I'm gonna take this Kaleidos blush, which it doesn't have a shade name on here, um, but I feel like this might be a good, you know, monochromatic moment, just lightly. This is the Makeup by Mario F2 brush, by the way. That looks lovely. 
these colliders splashes are really nice because you can like build them up to be super pigmented or shoot them out so that you know they're not too wham bam thank you man i'm gonna take some of my benefit pore professional setting spray and i'm just gonna spray my sponge and then just lightly tap that just to really set and melt it all into the skin for lips i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury iconic nude lip liner I feel like mine might be coming to the end of its life expand because it's really dry. And then for my lip, I'm going to take Muted Morph from Makeup by Mario. This is his lip cream. And then I'm going to take his Golden Nude lip gloss. Perfect. That's, this is honestly one of my all-time favorite lip combos, by the way. It is so, so good. That is it. Let's zoom back so you guys can see the finished look. And this is the finished look, you guys. I... I can say defeat. All of you that were in the comments when I tried that Makeup Forever powder foundation and I just like used it kind of as a setting powder and you guys were like, I want to see you use it as a powder foundation. I'm telling you, I think you'll really like it. You guys are absolutely correct. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I think if you're someone that wants a really, really quick morning makeup routine, this might be the foundation for you because that was so quick and easy to apply. Like this whole look, obviously the eyes took me a little bit longer than like normal because it was like, this is a little bit more dramatic. I mean, even then this was super quick, but like you could honestly skip the eyes altogether and do this whole kind of powder routine with mascara and like a lip or whatever. I reckon you could do it in like 10 minutes, not even, honestly. So, and I think my skin looks flawless. Like truly, I really do. So, Makeup Forever Powder Foundation for the win. There you go. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I know this was a super quick little random video, but I wanted to try those products out for you guys and show you. So here we are. If you are still here, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have the most amazing day, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye.